Okay, this is again the why part. So first and foremost, when it comes to the wisdom behind the creation of Allah, we trust who is Allah. That's why we obey Him. And sometimes we have partial wisdom based on the knowledge that we have, based on our personal experiences. But as we get more experiences, maybe more wisdom will be manifested to us. And someone with more experience in a certain field. So for example, you, know, you, may, you may only be able to see certain amount of wisdom in interest being forbidden. Okay? Now, maybe one year ago, people who were in the investment is, uh, area, they may not be able to see as much you know, understanding of how interest ruins things. But when the market collapses, hopefully they have a better appreciation of how interest me messes up the market. Um, and, and so on and so forth, right? Same thing like one of the examples I was talking to you about, like you know, this uh, uh, brother from my building, who is not a Muslim yet, may Allah guide him, like he appreciates the wisdom behind you know, how we wash our nose before Salah, especially when COVID happened, right? How you're cleansing your nose. So sometimes it may, it may be there, but you need to go through certain experiences to be able to appreciate more and more wisdom. So we are not chasing wisdom. We worship Allah, but you can reflect and admire and appreciate the wisdom of Allah as you acquire knowledge, as you reflect on it, as you do more research and studies. So the, the point being that, look, our worldview is that there's a creator who has given us these, these body parts and this ability and this life, and he has given us some boundaries. If we follow that boundary, the whole humanity will prosper. There will be justice established in the world, and that is how I become grateful. So that's why I fast, by respecting the boundaries of Allah. That's why I wear hijab, by respecting the boundaries of Allah, and so on and so forth. And um, this, is, this is a distinction, right? That the order that was given to shaitan and the order that was given to Adam alayhi salam. One argued, one disobeyed and argued, one fall into disobedience, but then repented. And both of them were not given explanation from what we know. And we are not submitting to our intellect because intellect can be you know, easily tampered with. Some people say, this is better. Some people say that is better. And even in our regular worldly life, whatever opinion you are taking, right? So maybe you have certain health opinions you take. You follow a certain philosophy, certain doctor. Let's say someone is, you know, recommended in your family to, to have a surgery. You would always have alternate opinions. But you follow the one that you believe in. That's the submission. And that's what we uh, do when we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there's like more stuff here, but I think depending on how far they go, but... Hopefully that should be good enough, inshallah. But most importantly, uh, please have an intention to try to put it into practice. Initiate one conversation at least. And if it doesn't go through anything, then another one, another one. Let's have a proper conversation between now and end of December. If I can help, just reach out and we can have a conversation with them together as well. So thank you for attending. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it beneficial for us and accept from us. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shahadu wa la ilaha illa an astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Sallallahu ta'ala ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.